Hi, my name is Shari Finn. Um, I'm currently a model maker here at Weta Workshop in Wellington, New Zealand. A model maker can be a, an artist, a sculptor, a prop maker, a costume designer, uh, everything. Going through school, you wouldn't know that there's jobs like this out there, and I didn't. And everyone telling me back then that there, there is no such thing as, as employment in the arts industry, and that's really scary being told that from a youngster, knowing that actually that's sort of the only thing you're good at. So I went to art school, straight from school, and I studied for three years at Claremont School of Art. For me, art school was slightly frustrating because I went wanting to be taught, from the masters, I wanted to be taught the anatomy of building a sculpture from the ground up. And it was all about how you could talk about your work. I just want my work to do the talking for me. This is a model of Rivendell, the most requested collectible of all time from the rings world. The buildings were so tiny, it was near impossible to make. It was quite a nightmare. Fun at the same time. From art school, where I majored in sculpture, I then went to um, the West Australian Academy of Performing Arts, where I studied um, set and costume design. The thing that attracted me most was uh, miniature model making for theatre. So um, when we were designing for theatre sets and shows, it gave me an outlet for something that I found exceptionally interesting and fun. I tried like mad to get involved with uh, a big international film in Australia. Months and months of trying and trying and not giving up, I finally got given a go on The Matrix. Um, I think partly because Owen Patterson, who was the production designer, is, is originally a Perth boy himself and decided let's give this kid a go. I was mortified at the idea that I'd only just found and I felt too late what it was I could do and I could do well. And everyone said, don't worry, it's the end. It's all going to go digital. And that was 10 years ago. So. As much as Avatar scared the hell out of me, and as far as I'm concerned, they got it right in terms of every pixel you see on the screen is digital. Though, from a model maker's point of view, we made majority of everything they shot. So the reason they got it so right was we made the physical objects, which they then captured digitally. As, as long as there are humans in productions, we're going to have to be um, producing either their costumes, their outfits, or the objects that they're holding. Things like District 9, we've actually got to make an object or a weapon to feel right. So when an actor picks up the object, it's got to look like they're holding the weight of the object. This is one of the um, rifles from um, District 9. We make it look pretty, we finish it and hand it over to the model uh, mold department where this would have been broken down into multiple components. This piece here would have been um, hand turned on a classic old wood turning machine. So I came to Weta as a miniature model maker and while being here developed such a range of skills and uh, applications of hand model making combining it with digital model making. We all um, have such a sense of pride and joy and New Zealand seems to celebrate every production that comes to town. While in Australia we all lived doing the same work but it wasn't, there was no I couldn't find the same sense of pride, so we would work on a production and as soon as it was over we'd wrap it up, put everything into storage and never mention it again. For a while there, secretly, a few of us used to sign our name and the date on the roof in the buildings that we just kept working in. Some artists would probably think that's not art, but I, I see it as art. The reason I'm interested in the film industry, and it goes way back to childhood, was the whole idea that you're fooling the audience. You're filling a screen with an image of artistry, as far as I'm concerned. My role and responsibility on this particular piece was to, um, to dress all of the insides of every room with all of the furniture and the, the floor details, the ceiling details, um, the doors, the windows. You name it, I had to make all of that by hand. It's very, very small and you didn't want to sneeze on my table the day I was making that. So in terms of advice, I would say if you're passionate about something, and no matter how obscure it is, work with it. And it could take you somewhere that you don't even know exists. I strive really high. I do those things that most people say you can't do. And that's why I am where I am, I think.